let's create a new project for the AIDL server we don't need an activity we'll select no activity and um, my application let's name it as AIDL server okay and we'll change the language to Java okay, and click finish okay so we have the project now ready now let's create the AIDL interface so for that just right click here AIDL ADL file let's name it as I a i d l sorry a i d l color in the face okay click on finish so now you can notice this a i d l folder here and we have this file i a i d l color interface dot a i d l so this is very similar to a java interface now we have to generate the stub so for that we'll just go ahead and build this project rebuild project so after rebuilding it should have a folder where it has the stubs which the framework create for us so the build is already done you can see this java generated folder and when you click on that you can see that i a i d l color interface one interface file is created here this one and it has this particular stub okay so this is the code which is automatically generated by the android framework to assist us in the communication between two separate android apps okay, so what we need to do is we have to basically implement this particular stub class okay so now as you can see here it was a dummy uh, function which came automatically so we have to basically replace this function with our function so let's do that so we can simply replace this function with our function in our case we just need a method which will return the integer value of the color so this function will basically create generate some random colors and send it back to the clients okay so in the interface we just need to define this and uh, let's rebuild it again so after rebuilding you go here and come down you can see this uh, method defined get color now let's create the service create the service service let's name it as aidl color service java export enable let's find finish we have this service now we need to basically implement the stub now let's create the binder object binder okay so now basically we need to write the logic for get color so the get color has to create generate some random colors and send it back so now let's write the logic for getting the color okay basically we are just creating a random uh, number and creating a random color and returning that value and let's create this uh, missing tag okay ideal color service that's done let's put a semicolon Okay, so we are done with the implementation of the binder and we also need to do one thing here we should return the binder object delete this line okay so i think we are almost done with this service and we should also check the manifest ones we need to create an action intent tag as well here so that we can call this service from a separate application using intents now let's create the intent action for this service okay so intent filter just give the action name here so we'll be using this action name from the client app to trigger this service